wipe is right around the corner and to prepare for wipe i want to try and showcase to you guys how you might take a brand new fresh warlock at the start of wipe to the point where you're actually geared and comfortable and fight other people confidently sweet so we've got nair abusa here it's a level one warlock uh, i'm probably gonna ditch the pants right away do something like this. I hate Crystal Ball and Falchion together because you're incredibly slow. I think the best perk to take is either Dark Reflection or Soul Collector. Soul Collector because I think one of the only ways you're going to get a kill, there's kind of two ways basically, you're either going to BOC somebody or you're going to use something like Bolt of Darkness to do a large amount of damage by using your 10 stacks here. And I don't believe you can run Life Train Hydra without gear. If I find some knowledge stuff, I'll be able to run Life Drain Hydra. But even if I'm able to run it, I don't think this Crystal Ball is going to be able to, to get us where we want to go here. But actually, we're going to do BSB as well. And then Hydra. And of course, we're going High Roller. High Roller is how you level up fast and get better gear. Let's do it. So it took a few attempts before I got a nice run going. But the general strategy was to play it safe for the first extract to try to buy a Magic Staff, some meds, and some knowledge gear from the vendor. I tried Phantomize BOC once too, because the game just kind of gave me gear for it, but ultimately I got deleted in two hits by a Slayer Fighter anyway. You might as well be kind of aggressive early on because you have a lot more to gain than you have to lose. And also on a fresh wipe scenario, you're less likely to run into juicers than I was. Ah, oh, we're back with Nair Abuser 5. I actually forgot to put on BOC. Kind of sucks. Because now I definitely can't really fight any PvPs. Alright, we got some lace turn shoes off the bat. We got a kettle, which maybe I'll use for a plate demon build. When life gives you lemons, you squeeze them into a plate demon warlock build. I'm gonna break these actually. Oh my god, a purple spell book right off the rip. That's so, so good. Holy shit, five magic power as well. All right, I'm, I'm living, dude. I want to live. I need some gold so that I can buy gear from the vendor. I need to make sure I get enough of that. Oh shit, that's a ranger. I need to get, get the frick out of here. Come on, give me, just give me the stuff and let me get out. I'm getting out. We're not risking it. Purple Spellbook is such a good start. How, how do we play this? So we sell all the bullshit. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be running plate now that I got this nice spellbook. We are going to hope. Actually, my vendors are about to reset, so I'd like to check them before that happens. If you guys didn't know, I, I think this is pretty common knowledge, but just in case you guys didn't know, the vendors reset on the half hour increments of every hour. So... 1 30, 2 o'clock, 2 30, 3 o'clock, etc. So we ended up with 258 gold, which is actually pretty good. I can sell these two for a little bit more. Again, I'm not buying stuff like this. Normally, this would be an, an amazing pickup. Probably gonna sell these. My chest is really bad, so I really would like an Oracle robe. I don't get a single piece of knowledge gear in my vendors, dude. That puts me in a very tight spot. Can I gamble for one? I can't even gamble for one. I think I'm actually gonna leave my frock on because I have no defenses otherwise. If I have a Chris Dagger, I'll absolutely buy it, but I don't even have a Chris Dagger, dude. Come on now. A white longsword is probably better than this piece of garbage, so I will buy it. But we got really unlucky on our vendors, so that sucks a lot, actually. But it's okay. We have a purple spell book. Poison messed up. Power of Sacrifice is here instead of Curse of Pain. So I have to use Bolt. And I have to not accidentally Power of Sacrifice myself. Alright, interesting spawn. Another Axe Skelly. I missed. Does it choose with move speed? Morning Star? No. I'll keep my head on a swivel here. I don't want to get caught out. How much move speed is this? Is this more move speed than this guy? 92? 91? It might actually be worth it for the extra magic power. Now there's a static here. Again, because I really like this start. I am going to kind of stick closer to the static. This is decent XP. Skelly Champ actually doesn't give you that much XP. You would think it'd be a lot, but it's not as much as the Wraith. You might give me good gear. 
shit. Come on, really, bro? Oh, an air warlock hammer. All right, this guy's not not happy about our strats. That is fine with me. I, I feel his pain, but I'm I'm level four. Yeah, bro, come on. in here still. Well, imagine being that bad. I'm just gonna run forever. I started naked, bro. I'm not missing any. All right, that was pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. All right, we get this guy's stuff and then we get the heck out of here. It was not a good idea to do what I just did, but he's got some upgrades for us. Some big upgrades, actually. We got a five knowledge cloak. I didn't even get the chance to talk about it because that guy was just in my face. Yeah, this right here, five knowledge, one magic power and a little bit extra spellcasting speed makes it so that we can run almost all of our stuff. I still can't run uh, Curse of Pain. Don't be like that, like that guy, by the way, guys. He was sitting here saying my strategy was uh, somehow made me a bad player who who cares dude i'm a bad player with a bad strategy exploit it exploit it brother that's all you gotta do you don't gotta yap about it but we are level six so we're gonna put on our next perk uh yeah definitely dark reflection with my soul collector strategy i still think boc is probably the way to go with the, this level of gear these are just not even worth running gives me good health but too slow somebody's in here already it's really, really dumb to fight this, but I'm going to. Wait, they're not in here. What the? Got baited. Unless they're clearing it one bat at a time from the other side. Oh, it's a bard. Is he naked? I'm gonna open this back up. To the bow. Oh, what the hell? I don't want to fight this Wiz. Mr. Bard, good luck, brother. I'm oh, just kidding. I need to I need to gank the Wiz while he's fighting the Bard. Get me back in there. Where did this Wiz come from, dude? Oh, there's another guy? jump down I think did you just sit for more zaps oh he's right here oh my god I'm, I'm cooked I need to jump there's no choice surfing oh my god it's crazy boys no no <laughs> who won up there oh oh bad 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 all right the rogue one i can just get over here though this is really good for me where'd he go in bat right now dude that's not what I needed. It's okay, though. He's stuck and I can drain the stuff. 
Right, if I can kill my stuff before he kills his stuff, there's a chance for me to get the whiz loot. You both realized what's going on here? Got him. Got him again. He wants to push, he has to do it down this big hallway right here. Wait, he got the stuff. How do you get the stuff? He's so fast. It's okay, all this stuff is really, really good for me. Yeah, we we put those on immediately. Crystal sword's not that good, to be honest. Someone's in there. Oh boy, that's not good. Agility true magic, absolutely true magic. Okay, we made it. We survived. The battle royale, what the hell? Actually, you know what? Zero to hero, don't even inferno. Doesn't even sound that bad, dude. No idea if there's gonna be people down here or not, but we're going. Chris Dagger, dude. Chaucy's, nice. Ooh, speaking of move speed. All right, once again, let's take stock. We sell all the stuff we don't want anymore. Sadly, these are good, but I'm, I'm just selling to the vendor because I'm not using the market right now. Now, this is a tough call, dude. Okay, what's my move speed? 99 or 100? I think I'm gonna go with the wizard shoes. Four magic power is actually a lot. I don't really have much magic damage, so I kind of need some extra damage from somewhere. And as much as this falchion is good, dude, this is a good falchion, uh, I'm going to use this Chris Dagger. Taking off BOC, we're using Phantom Eyes. Wait, I didn't hit level 10 off of that. It's probably not worth going to Inferno for XP these days unless you really can clear it fast. You have to fight everything one at a time, whereas in the crypts, there's so many red skellies that that XP is actually pretty good. So uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, but it's true. Uh, I think I need to put Flamewalker on. Yeah, I'm taking Bloodstained Blade off and using Flamewalker. Oh, my vendor's reset. Nice, dude. Okay, we are actually casting fast now, boys. We got 31 knowledge, I think. Yeah, 31 knowledge right here. All right, interesting spawn. I'm strong enough to take some fights, but I'm not strong enough to be super confident. You gotta understand your gear level and how it relates to what you can achieve in game. That's key. Honestly, this Coliseum area is not a very good place for me to fight. Probably makes more sense for me to go in somewhere. good. That's that soul collector doing work right there. He didn't have much. But he had blue pots. A bunch of treasure. I think we have to go Inferno again. Because I don't want to cross all that shit. Alright. Gotta be honest, this is not my favorite spawn. All right, here we go. It's looks like, looking like it's gonna end top right. So I have a ways to go. All right, another Inferno run. Not a ton of XP that time, but it's solo Inferno, guys. You can't, you can't afford to risk too much going solo Inferno. We can add another perk. So we have Soul Collector, Dark Reflection. Do I add Vampirism for better life drains and pots? Or do I add Anti-Magic? I'm gonna go vampirism. All right, we don't have much damage. We really don't have much damage, but this is still like a solid setup. I'm gonna try to be more aggressive this game, see if we can fight some people. All right, very interesting spawn. Uh, this gives me a very big positional advantage early on, so I'm definitely gonna take that. But it's also a hot, a PVP hot zone. People will probably come here to try and find me slash the bats. Oh, someone's here already. Okay. He going he's here he wants to fight he's got nothing but 
He's playing aggressive, and I respect that. Chris Sager's on top row. He played that, honestly, pretty well for a naked. I think the bats did most of the damage. Could be wrong, though. There's another guy here already. That was weird. It made the wrong sound. It made the, the Bolt of Darkness sound. He's in. He's absolutely naked. Do it, bro. What? Oh boy. These freaking trolls. These absolute trolls. Weapon damage. Two weapon damage. I'll take that. I mean, this probably means no one's going to be directly next to me because those two guys completely rushed. So I am going to go down into the royal coffin. <laughs> These guys have nice stuff sometimes. Additional magic damage? Exactly. Holy crap. Two. One, two, three, four, five. I have five additional magic damage. Decent amount of magic power. I just need... A hat, really. Like a shadow mask with magic, magic damage would be absolutely ridiculous. Keeping an ear out for what's happening above me right now. I don't hear anything, but it could change at any moment. Ooh, I wish I could drop the knowledge. All right, so I did scout a little bit in the lobby. There's a bunch of naked rangers. I'm not that worried about them. I can still get trapped if I'm not careful. The main threat, though, is a juicer bard. I don't have information, so I am going to start flame walking. Oh, unfortunate. I don't actually like this map very much. Here's the bard. the hell? Another guy? Okay, we're backing up. <clears throat> How is he reloading so fast? I'm just getting out. Alright, is there any way you can wear this cape? I really want to wear this cape. This is uh, six magic power and one additional versus five knowledge. Like, if I take this off, I'm at 26. I can get two back. Three knowledge for one magic power and one additional. Not gonna lie, that doesn't seem worth. I mean, I could always just rock 26 knowledge, but that seems like a bad idea. All right, well, oh well. It was potential there. All right, we're just going back in. I kind of want good, good pots, actually. There's no reason not to have good pots at this stage of the game. Again, level 13, this is what the kit's looking like. The chest is a crime, but we just haven't found a nice chest yet. Maybe we'll find one with magic power this run. Maybe not. We'll see. Actually, look at this. 28 Curse of Pains with this scuffed kit is not bad. 63 on those guys. Dude, I literally have to... I think I have to wear Wizard Shoes more often. I sleep on these two items. I mean, this thing, you can't compete with the Shadow Mask, but this guy, it's not actually that bad. I'm to the point where, like, I don't really care too much about chests. 
probably better just to kill mobs for XP. But to that end, hard to be Flamewalker. I mean, it, it would be nice if I could hear uh, anything, but it is what it is. There's a guy here. It's a wizard. Why doesn't he zap me, dude? Oh, I needed to hit that so bad. This is a better play by him. I need to hit this. Please. Yes, dude. What a fight, dude. Holy shit. That was a crazy one, dude. That was a crazy one. I don't think I played that particularly well. But uh, we got the dub at the end of the day. The Chris Dagger actually got us a dub there. Oh, he's got the juice. Eh, not really. He doesn't actually have the juice. I'll use these though. Those are better than what I'm wearing for sure. Another spell book. Mine has magic power. Mine's definitely better than his. Kind of wish he had... I wish these were Chaucy's with magic power. I'll keep these though. These are kind of interesting. I just have such low base health. Good fight, dude. That was fun. That was really fun. Oh, I had phantomized and I didn't even realize. I could have phantomized out of there. If I would have realized, I probably would have phantomized. When in doubt, caught up, flame walk in. Stuff is cleared. The static's not taken. Hmm. Bait me in. He's dead. There's also a rogue, though. Do not. All right, we got the barb. Oh. What does the barb have? Ooh. No. I got to drop some of this stuff, even though it's kind of nice. All right, that's all. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. That rogue, I think, just took static. I'm not griefing. Come too far for that. Let's see what we got. So I got these, which 
are really, really good. Six magi power, move speed, four knowledge. Like it is a crime not to wear those. These have five magi power, but these are better for sure. My knowledge is 35, so I can actually afford to drop some Chossy for some more health. That's a lot of health for me. Yeah, dude, my speed is a little bit low. It's actually quite low. But as long as I flame walk well, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Wait a minute, I should have, oh, I should have switched this out for that robe that I threw on the ground. That was dumb. I was trying to think quick, so that'll happen sometimes. Yeah, these aren't going to be beat. Those are incredible boots. These are very, very good. I mean, not very, very, but very good raw hides. This is a pretty good cloak. I have a decent amount of magic damage. What's my magic damage bonus now? 41. It actually went up. We're feeling really good here. This is the, the big issue. If I could get a shadow mask, almost any shadow mask is going to be better than this. I guess we're going to bridge room. Not the best place to fight as a warlock, truthfully. There are no mummies up there, no uh, fireball guys up there, no mages, so uh, that's probably players fighting. Oh, brother, what just happened to you? Is there someone else in here? Would you just troll that hard? Oh, he killed the other guy. He's just donating. Ooh, that's going to be tough to pass up. I don't think I killed that many mobs, so I doubt I'll level up, actually. Alright, I'm out of here. Did I level up? Is this 15? We did it. Level 15, Nair Abuser 5. It took five tries to be able to get a permadeath character from zero to 15. I definitely think this would be easier to do early on in a wipe than it is right now because a lot of people come in with like ridiculous kits. I guess quickly we can go over what I actually ended with just to show off kind of some of the cool stuff we were able to find during the run. Oh, and if I was going to pick another perk, I would pick anti-magic for sure. We ended with obviously a nice little Chris dagger. Decent little two weapon damage lantern. Uh, the worst piece in our whole kit is this hat, but we did just get a shadow mask, which I would almost definitely wear instead of this. We have three true magic here with some agility. This purple spell book we found in the very first run and is probably what kind of catapulted us into a nice run here. Oh, never mind. This is the worst piece in the kit. This <laughs> random oracle robe that honestly. With the shadow mask, I could probably just get rid of entirely. I could have had a purple mystic vestments, but I dropped it when I was trying to loot at the end of zone. We got these rawhide gloves with agility, magic power, pretty good. A little bit of knowledge here, a little bit of additional magic damage here. Some nice padded leggings with knowledge and move speed. These are pretty good. Probably the best item in the whole kit is these occultist boots right here. Four knowledge, three will, three magic power, 1.1% move speed. These are sick. And then a five knowledge cloak. I can't remember if I went over this already, but a five knowledge cloak as well, just to really round out the amount of knowledge we have on this gear. It seems like in crypts, you need a lot less move speed to succeed. In a place like GC or especially in ruins, you really, really need that move speed. In the crypts, it's so claustrophobic that you can actually get away with not having it. So that's kind of an interesting thing, but I think this kit is pretty good. I think this kit's very good actually. All in all, pretty nice run. It did take me five tries. I think. After I hit level 10, like the first time I hit level 10, uh, I never died again. Keep in mind, it, you may struggle early on, but once you get a couple perks, you get a couple nice pieces of knowledge gear, it really does make a huge difference and you really can kind of snowball into a pretty solid kit at the end of the day. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of like how to kind of gear up and sort of what what types of decisions you should be making during your process when you're you're kitting up and you're you're really getting your warlock off the ground. Because for a lot of people, that's when they really struggle with the Warlock. Once they're geared, it's a very powerful class. But as a fresh, no gear lock, when you have nothing, it's tough out there, dude. It really is tough out there. But yeah, guys, I, I'm really, really looking forward to the wipe. I'm not sure if I'll stream before the start of next wipe. It's probably just going to be me doing things like this, like a little bit, little bit of practice runs. Maybe I'll do some more uh, permadeath runs in an upcoming stream before then. But either way, until then, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Let me show you guys how to fight the Wraith. How to fight the Wraith legit, rather. Oh, 
got me. This is bad. I might die. In fact, I'm almost definitely dead. It's okay. We're alive. We're alive. 